We're back out of the dungeon we were in on the last one, and it looks like the last place we have to go to is actually right over here. Which is hilarious, because I did not pay any attention on the last one to it being right here, maybe? Ah, buddy. Here, hi. Let me just drill you with that, and then we'll have to deal with your friends here in a second here. Let me give your friends something to play with. It's called Turret. It's called the sort of I win button. I mean, it's not really an I win button, but it does do pretty darn good work, I gotta admit. Here, I see some scrap lying around. I have to expect there might be some scrap around the room, too, because there were a bunch of dudes here when we popped out of the place. Is it downstairs? Because I don't see anything right here, right? I mean, now it's saying right here. I don't know what you're referring to, though. There's nothing right here. And I guess here we can go down just to make sure, but pretty sure it wasn't down here either. I mean, there's like a. Well, maybe it is down here then. I guess it's that big doorway, and it, the exclamation point is over that. I guess? Come on. Yeah, this gun is good. I mean, even though it's not doing a lot of damage, it does fire relatively quickly. Therefore, it sort of makes quick work of people. Yep, this was it right here. I didn't remember that it was in this room. Like, basically the same room we were just in. Only on the ground floor instead of on the... the balcony level, I guess we'll call it. So we'll go ahead and do a little bit more graffiti. Turn this into a proper door that we can open. See where it takes us. We emerge in... Iron Burrow. Let us take a sit. We definitely need some more scrap. That is still the thing that is holding us back from being able to pop some more upgrades. This is a much different look. This is kind of back in uh, Lane Dell in the, the kind of the... Well, this isn't Lane Dell. This is more like... Hmm. I don't know what this is. This is almost more... Um, shoot, now I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Bloodborne areas. Something's not right about this place. Kill him first. Uh, seems good. Oh yeah. We're definitely going bloodborne here, aren't we? Got dogs, we got hunters. Yeah, we are we are so going bloodborne. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent bloodborne. Is she attacking or is she throwing the sickle? I couldn't tell what she was doing there. I mean, so far, these guys are pretty weak. We got dogs. That's great. Never enjoy those in any video games. Thanks for including them. Um, I guess. Oh yeah, this is totally bloodborne. Got the guy with the rifle. All the townsfolk who are using farming tools as weapons, etc. That last forged iron was the one we needed to upgrade the... Hmm, the gas giant, maybe? We needed one more forged iron to upgrade something. So that's kind of handy. Why did that guy suddenly catch on fire? I don't, I don't understand what happened there. Oh, there's Father Gascoigne. Papa G! Although he has a sort of multi-pizza cutter, which is interesting. Okay. I mean, oh. That sucks for him. I'm here for the, I'm just going to say, very obvious Bloodborne homage. I'm here for it. 
all day long. Here, let's do it like Bloodborne. Let's do... Well, I guess Bloodborne does have guns, doesn't it? That's how you parry, after all. I was going to say, let's do it melee style, but, eh, you know, either way. I say, I thought I heard someone shooting. Oh, you are throwing the, the sickle. The scythe. The cycle? The scythe Uh, yeah, I can. I can just walk in the tunnel and you can't hit me. That's how that works. Those are called walls. Nice duck. Uh, yeah. Outsider's already here. I'm sorry to tell you, dude. All right, let's drop this guy, because Papa G has respawned. Okay, taking him down again. Him and his weird pizza cutter. If you don't know what I'm talking about with all these uh, Bloodborne references, and really, I'm barely even scratching the surface of Bloodborne references, but Pizza Cutter, Papa Gascoigne, etc. Papa Gascoigne? I don't know. I'm not. My French is not very good. My French is terrible if I'm going to be realistic. Um, I don't know. Go do yourself a favor and uh, go play some Bloodborne. Go go watch a playthrough of it. Something like seriously, it's it's spectacular. It is one of my favorite games. Just straight up, it's that good. I really wish I could remember the names of all the places, though. I mean, there's, like, Bergenworth. That's the university. The Nightmare Realm. Nightmare Frontier. Nightmare Frontier is a good time. It's oh, really damn. not. What is it, over? Forbidden Woods. Uh, Hemwick Charnel Lane. Fishing Village. Am I thinking of the right game with that one? I don't know. Anyway, good stuff. Definitely worth your time. 100%. One of these days, I will maybe decide to play it on the channel just for the giggles. But um, I'm going to wait for the remaster or the sequel or something for that, I think. And there's sort of a joke in there if you don't know what I'm referring to. Well, the, there, there are birds. Okay. Wasn't sure what I was supposed to do with those birds. They looked... They looked dangerous, though. I'm gonna pop up the stairs and get immediately shot. See? Rude! No idea if that's the one we saw earlier. Just keep waiting for someone to be coming from the other side. Even though it's a narrow pathway. Okay, let's give him something to think about. Ow. It's given me something to think about. I don't appreciate that. You seem to be a little hot under the collar there, sir. Yeah, it took a minute. I had to change my, my things to get onto that one. So we have some bleed going on, it looks like. Maybe? Oh yeah, look at that. The bleed just kicked in. But so did our emergency switch. Didn't get it on that one. I mean, we used our thing, but that's alright. I don't mind being back at full health. There's just enough going on that it's a little wonky here. And I'm okay with healing up a little bit. That's fine. One of these days, I'll figure out if we can increase the usage of our relic, or if we're stuck at three usages. Three uses? Three usages? Hmm. Not that big a deal, but... Might be nice to officially have more. I might be a little more comfortable with switching away from the emergency switch and turn off baby mode.
Oh, we're going that direction. Got it. Sorry, I was not following that. That's where you were going. Okay. Yeah, I need to be doing a better job of paying attention to upper levels in this one, it seems. They're here. They're here. Ow. Rude. Again, I think I need to be paying atten better attention to things. You know, let's get down off the ladder very slowly and deliberately. Here, let's put the turret down right here. Knocked his hat off. That's kind of cool. Don't hit the turret. It did nothing to you. Except try to put you out of your misery, which you probably deserve. But whatever. Never mind that. Here, let's go back up here because this seems like this is going to wrap around and let us get to some of those areas that we saw up here where there's some items. I don't know, can we just jump across? Is that going to be a thing? Sort of looks like it might be a thing. All right, perfect. Galvanized iron. So that is the next step in iron. That's our next upgrade. That's probably an important one, huh? What do we have back here? The Hudas Clock which is inactive, and I don't even know what that is. Looks like a gate, maybe? I don't even know which way we should be going. Right, let's go ahead and drop down here, though. Looks like this might be a dead end, which I'm trying to find as many of those as I can, really. So I feel like if we don't find those, then we're just missing out on everything. Okay, bunch of good stuff there. Some scrap, relic dust, etc., etc. That fills in this portion of the map just nicely. I think maybe what I will do is next time we go back to Ward 13, I'm going to downgrade the rifle and we'll upgrade the bow just for the giggles. I mean, here, you know what? Um, we should probably try using the bow first for a minute just to see if, if it's even, uh, you know, something we want to use. I want to backtrack to the beginning here just to see what this clock is because I suspect we need to go over here before we can do anything else and then we're going to have a shortcut to the boss over here. But I would like to maybe clear this area out first. Oh, this was the door we couldn't get through. Oh, I didn't realize it was behind that door. Well, I just wasted your time. All right, so if we go this way, it looks like we have... A new direction we have not gone yet. And is that a person? Here they are. Get them! Guessing they're out of range, and that's why it's red, because... Oh no, that that is a thing. Okay. Do we get our arrows back? Oh, headshots are a thing. Yikes, lady. Madam. Hmm. I don't think I want to use this weapon. I don't want to have two weapons that are not hit scan. That's kind of a problem. The Arcanum Diviner. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Ow? I don't even know what's happening. Hi, how you doing? Okay, I'm trying to heal. Ow, madam. I was trying to heal, if you don't mind. Now let's turn on turrets overclock mode. I don't know if this guy's summoning people or what's happening here. Ah, good night, my friend. Ow. Okay. Turret did all the work there. Totally admit. That overclock turret mode is just ridiculous. So we got a new mutator of Stormbringer. 
We'll go ahead and send our turret back to where it came from. <sighs> no it's not a bad room. thing per se. Mutator. Hold on, I hear someone coughing and hacking or something. Ordinary casting speed plus four. Like, I have completely ignored, by the way, literally everything we've picked up here because... What do they matter? I mean, it just, like, I don't care. I I don't know how I'm really... Whatever, I don't even want to look at them. That's how useless they are. Let's take a look at the mutator we got, though. Mm, maybe it's a melee mutator? Yep, sure is. Stormbringer. Increases the status effect damage applied by melee attacks by 25%. Well, this guy does, um, well, we don't know how much damage it does, but do it increase the status effect damage by 25%. Madam. This is unnecessary. Okay, we got to wait a minute before we use another one of those. We don't want to lose one we have anyway. Uh... Guess we'll just go this way. I'm thinking this may wrap around and get us over to where that, uh, which of whose it is, that door and all the other things are. Oh, you're not a person. Okay. It's gonna be like the division, they're just gonna end up dropping their grenades. Is there someone over there? Shit. There sure is. Where'd that guy go? He's coming in. Now let's switch to this gun. Not a gun. I wanted to go for Stagger Central. Can we do that? Maybe. Oh, buddy. Okay, let's go ahead and bust one of these guys. There, we can take you back. You don't need to be out of here anymore. That was interesting, because that was not the enemy I was expecting. I mean, we've had just bunches of these, uh, I'm going to call them the generic citizens, and then that guy. That guy was not a generic citizen. That guy could vote, let me tell you. Okay, cut some iron. Forge stuff, nothing special, but... Hey, some extra scrap. Let's eight scrap closer to being able to do something than we were. I'm not going to fall off the edge because this game is ruthless with fall damage. Sometimes you know exactly what you're going to get, other times you haven't the slightest clue. I mean, it sure looks like it's going to connect, right? Yeah, I want to go back the other way. Sorry. This is the other way, so we'll go through this tunnel right here and see what we got. I mean, come on. There's even the carts from Bloodborne. Oh, that was some terrible shooting there. I don't know what happened. I guess the cart got in the way. Bad dog. Now let's pull back a little bit just so we can get a better idea of what's going on. Wow. So it's red. Hi. When you're, when you've got a good aim, apparently. Yeah, I'm not able to really get headshots with this weapon, so I'm not sure how much I want to use the bow. Nope, not what I was trying to do. There we go. Okay, turret did most of the work there, but that's fine. Out of room. No mind. Stagger damage. Actually, that one might be interesting. 
but it's going to be like 5% if we're lucky. So that's a negatory. If we're like, you know, 15, 20%. I might actually be willing to switch that on. Because stagger damage is fantastic. Especially if it applies to every weapon. If it was just for melee, eh, I don't know, maybe. But every weapon, yeah, I might I might be willing. Have to see what sort of stagger damage these other weapons do, though. I mean, I kind of had a whole build. Uh, well, the build wasn't necessarily around stagger damage, but I had a back for blood build that was pretty good at stagger damage. I mean, it was good at other things, but it, it definitely was a, a control build. Oh, uh, shoot. Is that going to be the boss door? Or is this connecting us to a new area? I don't know which it is. Well, I guess I get to go back again. So once again, back where we were before I decided to go to where we weren't. And then came back to where we were. Let's go ahead and climb this ladder and see what we got over here. Got a chest up here. Okay. New relic fragment, stamina. Whoopie do. No one cares. Uh, nope. I actually was hoping that we had the bow out because, you know, sniper damage. I mean, at the very least, I kind of need to see if I can get used to this. I think I can probably be okay with the bow. Realistically. To me, Dran. I don't know where you are. Sound like you're downstairs, though. Kill the interloper. Ah. Okay. You don't need to use the ladder for this. I'm just pretty sure about it. Okay. Nope. Let's get back upstairs. Crap, dude. Oh, it's the division. You dropped your weapon. Explosive. Whatever. And then nuked yourself. Good for you. What is happening here? That guy is fighting them. Interesting. So we are all invaders. My bad. I know, that's right. I forgot about the extra damage if you do the timing just right. You know what time it is. It's time to light them up. Oh, yeah. I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe on the stagger damage. Oh, hi. How you doing down there? Not well. Good. That actually didn't go too badly. That could have gone much worse. So I guess, uh, shoot, let's go this way first. This is where the... Whatever that guy was, was fighting the... Not the other guy. Uh, total Bloodborne vibes. That's our boss door right there. I'm going to be really annoyed if there's no shortcut anywhere except for like here and you have to run through all of this for your shortcut to get back to the boss that's cruel and unusual that's a long long run and I'm not a fan if that's what it is fill in the gap through the water down here and this will connect us over to where the clock and everything else is wonder if Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower will be over there. Wouldn't that be something? Guess we'll circle around this way? wonder if Eileen the Crow is around. That would be cool. Here, let's open our door. 
So this is our shortcut door. Can now get through from the start, ish. And this place isn't too bad in terms of, uh, you know, enemies and stuff. Hello? Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a sit. Take him out. Take him out. No. Don't. Ow. Oh, I didn't see you over there. My bad. Ow. I didn't see you over there. Okay, let's try this now. You and your clever ducking will not save you. I think you shot the ground. Okay. I mean, there's not going to be a ton of stuff over here, right? There can't be, I don't think. I mean, I guess this map can keep going. I don't know. Whatever. Make sure we get their attention. I'm going to try to back off to a little better protected spot. I don't think that you do. I mean, unless you're trying not to shoot me. In which case, then yes. You've got me right where you want me. Had to swing quickly on that one. Yeah, there's definitely some extra area over here, more than I expected. Okay, didn't mean to fall down there, but hey, now we filled in the mini map. Whatever. Got an item up here. It's promising. Maybe it'll be a blood vial. Tomb of Knowledge. Home of knowledge. Should have known that as soon as I saw the blue, but... Hey! I spaced. What can I say? Okay, the dogs are not really a danger at all, which makes me think that the boss will be a gigantic dog. Now, if there were gigantic pigs in this area, then I would know for a fact that this is Bloodborne land. As is, I mean, I guess you could say it's any sort of generic Victorian England riff, but I don't know. I'm going to stick with the Bloodborne story. Makes me feel better. Okay, this is it. No, we have not been getting any long gun ammo. Oh, I guess we did. Never mind. Take that back. Oh, no, maybe that's because we sat. Trying to make sure we don't get attacked from up here, but it doesn't look like anyone can, although they could probably come from this side. No, that's where we came from, so never mind. To me, Dran. No. This gun's good, man. Even when they duck. You still hit him with enough that it staggers him a little bit. I mean, there are a lot of dudes out here, but they're definitely on the weaker side. I mean, they will... They're doing pretty decent damage when they get the chance, but don't give them the chance. I mean, easier said than done, right? Should probably go upgrade some mutators or whatever those things are that use the relic dust. How you doing? 
to give you something to think about. Ow. Okay. Yes, those guys are weird. I don't get them. They're just invading this area, I guess. Maybe they're rival uh, peoples or something. Let's see if there's anything down here. Doesn't look like it. Nope, a little bit of scrap. We'll take that, though. Then I think this is going to be the last bit over here. Although I've been surprised at how far this continues to go. And we've got two different doors. Three doors to go through now. I don't even know. I'm so annoyed, though, that we have to run as far as we do for any of these. Uh, so you say you don't know where you go. That's where we came through. We don't know and we don't know. Well, this is the one we're in front of, so this is the one we'll step through. Cotton's Kiln. So this has connected us to yet another area. Are you a person? Hmm. I'm just curious if we go to this guy. Can we go to... We can. Well, that's interesting. Wow. So I'm guessing this is like the next... The next big area, and yet... We still have another area we haven't gone through in the courtyard. If I remember right. I just wanted to take a look at this map because I thought there was still an area we hadn't gone through. It's like down here. Is there a faster way to get to that? I mean, I guess I can run it out, but... Look at that. We even have the other door up here for the mask. Oh, good grief. I'm going to save that one for later. So for now, let me just... Uh, we'll save that as the last thing we do in this world, I think. Let me just go down and I'll, I'll deal with running through here real quick. We'll get some scrap and stuff for it, so it's, it's all right. I went to the wrong place, so instead let's just bounce back to work 13 and How goes it for see if we can do a little bit of upgrading. I think we can upgrade this guy now. Uh, sure. I think that's probably not a bad idea to do that. We could do it again. I mean, we can get both of these guys up to plus five, it looks like. No. We gotta pick one for our forged iron. I'm gonna always probably go with the gun before I do that. So if we downgrade this guy... Cancel that. I don't want to do that just yet. Just for the giggles here, let's do it, I don't care. And then, I don't know that we're gonna be able to get it up as high. I don't, I still haven't paid attention to, do you get literally every material back? I feel like maybe you don't. Yeah, because I think the other one was like a plus nine. Still, that's not bad. We got most of our materials back and we got the hunting bow up to a plus eight. So comparatively, I'm fine with that. Here, let's take, uh, nope. We can just do that to unequip it. Actually, you know what? Here, we should probably unequip from this guy. Hi. Unequip that too. And then for the bow, 
we'll go ahead and choose. We've got a couple options here. We got stasis beam, that's the slow one. Uh, bore. Prismatic driver, I think, is still on whatever that's on. Let's do hot shot. I like having that around, and then we can do probably put the top heavy on there again. That's a pretty good one, I think, for the bow. I mean, I don't know, whatever. It, it doesn't matter that much. I want to say we can leave it right here. We will pick up on the next one. I'll just see if we have enough to do some upgrades. If so, I will let you know what I do with Dwell over here. But we will rejoin back in the other place on the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.